Hello, this is Warrior Queen with your spiritual reading, and today is Saturday. The first call I pull is the Seven of Swords. This is errors in judgment, deceit, secret plans. There you go. The enemy standing on the corner, waiting. Beware of your enemy. I pull half a boy. You have somebody in your corner. He thinks good thoughts and plans things before doing them. So you need him on your side because the enemy standing on the corner waiting to just pounce on you. Then I pull the solar plexus card. This deals with inner feelings, power, vitality, self-esteem, and confidence. Use breathing techniques to strengthen the chakra. Pull Prince of Swords. This is an intelligent person. Pursuit of goals. Powerful person. Getting frustrated, a little angry at times. Just, you know, breathe. Good choices. You made some good choices. Help from friends and unexpected sources will come your way. Move. They go to heart. Act, direct, master, discipline, and focus your efforts with the heart. Ten of Wands. Some of you still feeling way down, carrying a burden, and you know you feel like you have too many responsibilities. But I pulled the merriment, happiness. I pulled carefulness. And this card is, you may fall in a situation you rather be free of. Think carefully before you act. Observe. Observe everything around you. Release, surrender, reconsider your patience and your cycles. For the high priest, intuitive wisdom, going within, and emotions. I like that on her eye. For the visit, higher self, angels, source. Pull the good gossip card. You've been talked about. Your reputation is good. Don't repeat gossip. Share the love. Notice how it's shaped into a heart. It's like a seed almost like into a heart. Share the love. Friendship. Community. Celebration. Then I pull the change card. New beginnings. Being challenging. Bring challenges. Adapt to your surroundings. So, like it's autumn and, and spring, the two different sides of life, and you just adapt to whichever side you go to, be able to jump back and forth. 
And I put the hog laws card, destructive forces of nature, things that are out of our control within the unconscious. A testing trial leading to completion. This card also represents the world card, fulfillment, harmony, and completion. Then I pull the Isis. This is magic and ritual. Effect in external world can be created through inner practice. Heart-centered rituals can support your inner path in the physical world. You are encouraged to enhance your power with regular practice as you grow in grace, love, ability, and wisdom. Applying your inner beauty to transform your outer world. And that is your reading for today. I am love. We are love. Thank you for watching.